Okay, so let's get started on these first introductory modules to computational engineering. And uh, if you read, read uh, the chapter one instructions, it's very clear that all of the modules uh, will have the same input. And again, starting like computational engineers always do, we'll start on paper, marking out the inputs on the left side of the page and the outputs on the right side of the page. And it's very clear from the, the prompt that what will be given is some sort of frowning face and that our job will be to keep what represents the eyes and uh, the outer profile of the face exactly the same, but the mouth is ours to basically make a smile with, yes. So the key here is before we get started, can we actually understand before we jump over to the computer what's what's the key parameters here what, what what is it that we actually want to do in computational engineering there's so many different tools and techniques to be used and when you're first getting started it's very important not to get confused by all of these different things so let's not talk about dynamo or grasshopper or c sharp or visual studio Let's just talk about first principles first, and then we'll start to worry about automation. So in the grand scheme of things, if we were doing this problem, what would be from first principles, uh, some techniques which you could use to go from here to here? Obviously, we first have to recognize that we're not going to be dealing with a real face. So uh, it won't be something that is actually uh, the uh, the, a face of a human or a face of an animal so no one gets smart and say it'll be something like move the muscles of the anterior front lobe blah 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 no nothing like that you're going to be given some sort of data uh, which you're going to manipulate most likely as you probably have seen you'll be given DWG and Revit files so those are geometrical based uh, representations of uh, of a face so we should be thinking using our thinking cap saying we're going to be let's just think in geometrical terms so uh and these this problem has been kept nice and easy for you so that you can think on a very simple basis no matter what discipline you are so if we think in geometrical terms uh what one of the main things people always come up with is we could rotate the existing smile Yep. So we could rotate the existing smile. No big deal there, right? Uh, that would get it to be a at least indicative smiley face. That's the goal here. We want to go from frowning state to, to smiling face. Uh, another one would be mirror uh, the existing smile. And again, this is another very valid method we don't specify anything other than it needs to smile again this problem is meant to be very simple for you so that you're not spending a whole lot of time uh, unnecessarily on not learning the basics okay and number three is i guess you could just draw a new smile draw a new uh a smile for the face So let's just say for right now, these are the three main uh, techniques we could use on a very, very, very high level to make uh, the input of what looks to be to you and me a frowning face into a smiling face. 